eight or nine minutes in. Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we are reviewing a long overdue game from 2019, Gears 5. Developed by the Coalition and released by Xbox Game Studios in 2019, this is the sixth installment of the Gears of War series. The game is available on the base Xbox One, Xbox One S, and Xbox One X and the PC. If you played anything from the developer, the Coalition, is that you will get the absolute best from their games in terms of performance and the limits the system is pushed to. Using the Unreal Game Engine, this game really wants to wow the user. In this review, we will be looking at the campaign only as multiplayer fluctuates all the time with its updates. Plus, I get killed in there way too much. The game runs on the Xbox One and S series at a dynamic resolution to keep the frame rate at 30 frames per second and will hit as high as 1080p and to as low as 792p. For the Xbox One X, you will allow the dynamic resolution to hit 60 frames per second and you will hit as high as 2160p or 4K and as low as 1548p. Both iterations run extremely smooth and is a refined game that all games on the Xbox One should look at. The gameplay itself is what you would expect and find comforting as nothing really has changed except for adding Jack's ability to the mix. Hey, go through that vent. Try to find a release from the door. So, Baird once lost data, huh? What does it even look like? Well, I mean, if it got pulled from the network, it probably got stored on some kind of external drive. Nice one, Dave. There are also options for stealth, as the enemy are already on screen when you arrive to certain sections of the game, and you may take them out using stealth if you want. There they are. Otherwise, the game also took a big gamble in exploration. In Acts 2 and 3, there is a bit of exploration you'll be doing on side quests that you can take or not. Nothing extreme like an RPG, but they are there. For an action game, you will have mixed reactions. There are times where that I wanted to hurry up the exploration to fight more since this is a Gears game. I felt that taking you on a high intense action packed journey then slows to a crawl and exploration can really take you out of the game at times. With that said, the design, sound, visuals are the best I've seen in the Gears game. Heck, it might be the best I've ever seen on the Xbox One, period. The Coalition know what they're doing and it's then with their fantastic designs, graphics that will wow you from beginning to end. All cutscenes are rendered in real time and look just as clean as if they were in a rendered movie. More detail were given to the main characters and the detail in the environment is top notch. This makes you wonder if the Xbox One is really that underpowered as it holds its own just as well as the Xbox One X. Besides the resolution and frame rate, the games look the same with the same added effects to ensure no one loses out. As for the frame rate, all installments besides the X version has been at 30 frames per second. Xbox One and S users will not notice any hitch and will enjoy the game as much as any other first party Xbox One games. With the X version, you get a dream list of sorts that was only possible on the PC with up to 4K resolution for extreme clarity and absolute smooth as silk 60 frames per second. Single player or up to three people can join online or local. These guys thought of everything. Although the exploration parts of the game brings the story forward, it was a bit boring until the end of Act 3. Other than that, an extremely strong entry for the Gear series. Gears 5 gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its unique and absolute blast of an action shooter at its best with some exploration that is a nice addition but needs to be fleshed out more. That's it for me on this episode of Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Only one left.
Feel.